is the first time we've been back to the park since 50 years ago. I remember the shoot and I remember some details of the monsters, but uh, the, the rest of it's a new discovery. It was, it was the launch of Looking, wasn't it? Was. it? And they were doing a, a centre cartoon piece on using the characters from Time Slip. We were front page news for a little while, which was, <laughs> which was very exciting. Time Slip is a science fiction series. Um, it incorporated time travel. Um, it had a lot of scientific based uh, futuristic possibilities of what our world might turn into in the future. It told the story of two teenagers thrown together more by accident than design. And the appeal is because it was a real adventure story as well and there was always a cliffhanger so it was very exciting. Gosh I was seven years old when Time Slip was broadcast. I remember rushing home from school and as a child I was completely transfixed by this series that told the story of two children who could travel into the past or the future um, but it didn't tell it in a childish way it was it was incredibly adult in the themes it covered so I, I think it was one of those unique series that could appeal to all age groups I mean it was one of the best experiences of my entire life. It was such fun. And of course, out of it, I've made a lifelong friend. It, it was a huge adventure. Uh, 50 years on, to be back, to be back there is it, just wonderful. It really is. Can't believe 50 years. 50 years. <laughs> what we've really tried to do in the way we've, we've made this new time slip is to look backwards and look forwards as well. So we, we take the characters of Liz and Simon and bring them up to date and move them forwards, move their story forwards. But whilst we're doing that, we're also bringing in other characters who also can travel through the time barrier. We've gone through it for a more ensemble storyline, which gives us lots of different directions we can go in with any particular story. It gives us lots of threads. Um, and it also makes it very dynamic. And very excited because the adventures that they are about to embark on are so in keeping with the adventures they've already had. I've, I was so impressed with the stories. I can't wait to get no. started, really. <laughs> exactly the same. It, it, it's an opportunity to look at our world as it is today. Um, and that's what I always felt that the original series did very strongly. So you're developing it and filtering it through our own modern day preoccupations, um, which which I think is, 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 gives us lots of exciting possibilities, and particularly because it is, a say, as we say, it, you're, it's all set on our world, so it's, it's alternative futures, so it's what is our world leading to. Our first story goes into the future, the second story goes into the past, but we've also, we're now getting alternative pasts as well, and I won't go into too much detail, but um, it's intriguing. I think it's a different one. <laughs> I just think there's a lot of, lot of sort of exciting things to explore with it. We have two uh, new young travellers uh, from the 1980s called Jade and Neil, who appear in Crystal Palace Park in the current, in the present day. Um, and we have a character called Charlotte Trent, who's very interesting. Um, she's a friend of uh, Liz's, who has a very interesting story arc. And Doctor Who's Sarah Sutton is going to be bringing bringing brilliant life to uh, Charlotte. She's going to be a really interesting and popular character, I think. F from my point of view, apart from the fact that the subject matter is very relevant, they're just damn good rollicking stories and anybody could enjoy them. I fully endorse that. I couldn't agree more. Uh, for those people who remember Time Slip, it's a fantastic opportunity to uh, catch up with Simon and Liz and it, it's going to be a thoroughly good listen. There are so many things you can do with this series, so many places you can go and you can do it with these wonderful engrossing characters. Um, yeah, I do, I do hope it's the beginning of a very long journey through the time barrier. <laughs>